Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, March 18th, 2019. This, uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Time is... Uh, fluid energies are fluid actually time is an illusion but energies are fluid okay so just because um there this message is coming through today does not have to mean that it's something that's happening for you right now it could be something that happened in the past could be something that's coming up either way this is just whatever spirit would like to discuss with us so with that said this is also non-sign love career or anything specific okay it's just what spirit wants to discuss with us Okie dokie. So, let's just get straight to it. For those of you that are interested, I am planning on doing happy hour tonight. So look out for that. Uh, that usually happens around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope you all had a great weekend and happy Monday. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, March 18th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so already I am seeing a bit of purple today. So I feel like, um, that feels like for those of us that have really been going through a rough period lately, or, um, like, cause I tend to go through things early, um, like ahead of the collective so that, you know, I'm able to like channel it and, and help people, other people that are going to go through it as well. Um. So maybe you're like stepping into this energy of like going through some heavy purging or learning or whatnot, but um, it's almost what this feels like is an energy of like the sun rising after the storm or the sun peeking through the clouds after the storm. There's this spiritual wisdom, this higher understanding, um, maybe even a deeper connection with your higher self that's coming through with this energy. There's also like a tealish light blue ish color in there which to me it, it feels like truth honesty authenticity but um in a much more innocent light so for some of us in this collective or whoever i'm channeling for we're coming out of the darkness into a greater sense of understanding not just of ourselves but the world around us the universe um uh, there's a lot of forgiveness also and healing that's coming through with that. Mm. That's really nice. <laughs> All right. One more shuffle here. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got. Monday, March 18th, 2019. Best messages, please, spirits. For the collectors, Monday, March 18th, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. Five of Swords, okay. Ten of Wands, okay. Perfect. Yep, there it is right there. So that purple color I was seeing. Divine Wisdom. All right. Underneath the deck, you have the Hermit. Okay, so some of you are going into a hermit mode. Others of you are coming out of it. For the most part, I do feel like this is talking about the exit strategy. Um, how, uh, when, like, the, the exit strategy of, from this hermit mode. So whether you're entering into it now or you're on the other end and you're coming out of it, doesn't matter. It's all fluid, okay? It's going to happen either way. So let's start Let's start here. Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, <laughs> and the Queen of Pentacles. Yep. So. Um, that there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 
Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles is what we're starting off with. Okay, so this is definitely for the feminine energies out there. Okay, um, the Queen of Pentacles has been coming up. She she came up um, at least once last week, um, and it was represented. I believe it was last week. Maybe it was the week before, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, the Queen of Pentacles at that moment was in, was representative of the nurturing aspect, the um, healing aspect, the nurse, right? Uh, the infirmary, if you will. She, uh, she was representing the need for self-care, the need to just care for yourself and um, work on healing, focusing on your healing, focusing on balancing your energies, balancing your body, mind, and spirit as you go through this transition. In this situation, the Queen of Pentacles is the individual that has been hurt. Um, the feminine energy, whether that be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, okay? This is about the energy. Um, this is, I do feel like she's been taken advantage of. Her kindness has been taken for weakness or their kindness has been taken for weakness, okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm using the him or her pronoun only because it's easier for us to understand. You know, it's just easier that way. But keep in mind, this is just energy, okay? This is not gender. I don't know why I'm feeling so compelled to say that today, but maybe there are some new viewers or some something. Um, so just keep that in mind, all right? Energies are fluid. We're not talking actual gender here. We're just talking about the energies. And right now we're talking about the Queen of Pentacles, okay? But this Queen of Pentacles absolutely feels like she's someone that is someone that has taken has been taken advantage of. Very much a kindness, taking someone's kindness for weakness. Okay. Now, it did become a little bit of a weakness, is what I'm picking up on here, but that's only because of the fact that this person was very compassionate and wanted to give second chances, wanted to let help someone grow, um, wanted to be an active par uh, part of their growth. Whoever, whoever was taking them for granted, taking ah, there it is, taken for granted, okay? Which is in a sense of being taken advantage of. So thus you have the Five of Swords energy with the Ten of Wands, the burdens, um, overbearing situations. I literally just heard an overbearing mother. That's pretty specific for some of, someone out there. Um, yeah, okay, which would definitely fall under the lines of the caregiver that the Queen of Pentacles can represent. Um, yeah. But, moving forward, we have the release of that energy with, sorry guys, uh, the release of the energy with the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, and Judgment. Now, this doesn't have to be one specific situation. This can be an overarching energy over your lifetime. Um, like, a, 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 I'm hearing Spirit is saying, cleansing of a major cycle in your life. And the, so you have the High Priestess, which is speaking to the spiritual wisdom that's coming through the secrets of the universe. It's the understanding. You can definitely see this High Priestess as the aha moment. What is that aha moment? It's recognizing that someone is not going to change unless they choose to do so. And no matter how much you stay around and try to help them, ultimately, at some point, depending on, you know, their actions, but at some point, you're probably just going to end up enabling them. And that's the realization that the energies of the High Priestess are bringing into the situation for you. And thus, you have the release of that Four of Pentacles, where in the past you were holding on to it. <laughs> in, some case, in some cases, holding on to it for dear life. Now, you're, having, you're hearing a higher calling. You're seeing the bigger picture is what I'm really feeling with this Judgment card. And thus, that helps you release. So finally you have ultimately the divine wisdom. And in this case, this is this this is a, a, a unique card in this deck, okay? Divine wisdom talks about the laws, of, well, the understandings that's coming from the universe, okay? What have you really learned here? And how can you apply that to your life moving forward? Um, 
And the Divine Wisdom card in this sense kind of feels like the world in the sense that it is closing out a major cycle. This is the nugget of learning, the nugget of knowledge, excuse me, that you have gained from this overarching situation, probably a very difficult cycle, especially with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Um, but I do feel like what this Divine Wisdom card is saying is that you are finally you're finally getting it, and so the information, the knowledge, the wisdom gained from the situation is finally starting to set in. That's literally what it feels like. It's like that, it just feels like it's settling into place for you to benefit from in perpetuity moving forward, all right? Now, all of this is... Um, culminating within the hermit, okay? So now for some of you, you're going into a hermit mode, probably to heal, um, recuperate. I do feel like that. Uh, gain some more of your energy or, or yeah, bring get some more of your energy back. It does feel like a healing situation, um, but also it's a wisdom situation. It's going within and like placing. So whereas you have the divine wisdom down here that feels like that completion, it's like the energy or the wisdom, the nugget of knowledge is setting into place. With the hermit here, that is you actually taking some time for yourself and and setting it, like putting it in, physically working it into your system, organizing everything, allowing more of your light to shine through, and then you'll be emerging at some point. If you haven't already done that, for, like I said, for a lot of us, you're already on the um, emerging end. I know I personally feel like... Um, I'm coming out of a bit of of, of, of uh, depression, negativity, whatever. Um, it's been a long cycle, and it mostly had to do with Pisces season. Pisces season ends in at least in Western astrology. Pisces season ends around like the twentieth, the twenty first. Okay, I believe it's the twentieth, um, and then we get into Aries season. And actually, I, and I honestly, I still haven't made the distinction of how I understand the difference between Western and Eastern astrology, so don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I do know that this season did really affect me. Like, I was feeling very, very emotional. Also, <clears throat> the Mercury retrograde situation, that didn't help. <laughs> Um, which Mercury goes direct on the 28th, but we still have the shadow period to deal with. But anyway, I digress. Some of you are going into hermit mode. Some of us are coming out of hermit mode, period. <laughs> okay. But the hermit also represents the deep inner wisdom and inner knowledge that's coming from whatever it is you're dealing with, however you resonate with the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Okay. Cool. All right. Now... Uh, I don't know where to put my coffee. Yes, I'm having coffee this morning just because I feel like having coffee. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let's get some clarification here. I'm going to start talking about the Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. And I am using the Crystal Visions deck for clarification. The Empress just caught my attention as I was shuffling here. Um, abundance, fertility, uh, healing, the Divine Feminine Energy. For some of you, you're stepping into a deeper awareness of the abundance of the universe, and for and you were already aware of it. You were standing in that energy, and you really wanted to be of help to help people benefit from this abundance that you've found, but you really come to the realization that you can't do it for them. You can love them from the sidelines. You can love them from a distance. Um, the Empress energy definitely feels like you've learned a lot about self-care, but also caring for others and what the true limitations are when it comes to being there for other people, okay? And that was a hard lesson to learn. It was a hard lesson for, for me to learn. It was very painful. But once you come to the understanding that, you know, we are the masters of our own lives, 
I mean, I've been watching a lot of Dolores Cannon lately, and, you know, we choose everything that we go through. We create our realities, okay? Nothing is done to us. We do it to ourselves, in essence, which is a hard lesson to learn. But when you understand that, then you understand how truly abundant we all are. Because whatever you've gotten yourself into, you can get yourself out of it. Is that the Empress again? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the Empress again on the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful. Okay, guys. Here we go. Starting with the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Just some clarification, please, Spirit. Extra messages that you Queen... Oh, no, the King of Wands. Interesting. The Emperor. Oh, wow. And the Freedom Wands. Excellent. Okay. Underneath the deck, you've got huh, the Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. All right. So here we go. The Emperor, the Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. So Aries or Leo energy, potentially. Um, and actually, really, the only reason that I'm bringing up the sign is because of what they represent, not because you may necessarily be dealing with an Aries or, or um, Leo or whatnot. It has more to do with the energies that they exhibit. Aries being the emperor, being the master of your domain. Um, there was definitely, there's definitely a sense of taking your power back. In this situation, releasing the burdens here. Okay, now with the Five of Swords, it's interesting that the Three of Wands is coming out on the Five of Swords because um, the Spirit is saying escrow. You've done a lot of work and you come very far on your path. So the Five of Swords energy, it's almost as if it was an effort to knock you off of your path to maybe even jade you in some way is kind of what it feels like. But you've surmounted that because in essence, you've taken your power back and you've learned restraint. King of Wands. You learned when to pull back, when to hold back, um, when to give, when not to give. How to be a true leader, in essence. Ace of Cups. And it's self-love that's coming through here. And what this also feels like is through you f showing restraint and showing yourself self-love, it's affecting the people around you. Whether you realize it or not, whether they're actually saying it to you or not, or, or whatever, you taking your power back and showing yourself the love and compassion that you've shown others, it's really changing the game. Because at one point where you were really, you could have been really selfless. Now you've gained a little bit more, so you gain gained a little bit of selfishness, which you could definitely say is the King of Wands energy. But this is balanced. Understanding that if you can't be there for yourself, or if you're not there for yourself, then you can't be there for others. And thus, you walk your path. You continue to walk your path, free of the burdens of other people. Burdens that you have no business carrying to begin with. Ten of Wands, okay? That's really quite awesome. It feels very freeing. It's beautiful. All right, so now let's get into the, the, the wisdom here of the situation. High Priestess uh, letting go with the Four of Pentacles and the Higher Calling here. Best messages, please, Spirit. Just a little bit extra guidance here. A little clarification. The Knight of Cups. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So for those of you, yeah, that's it. The Knight of Cups is falling out on the Judgment card, but then you have the Two of Swords here. Okay. Interesting. Because the Two of Swords has been coming out a good amount lately, and it's not. it hasn't really been symbolizing... Um, what it normally symbolizes. Often the Two of Swords is about needing to make a decision, not being able to see um, clearly enough to make a decision um, as you're like blindfolded or something, or refusing to make some sort of decision, refusing to see something as it truly is. But that's not how it really has been resonating lately. It's, it's been resonating as... Do huh, you guys like the hole in my shirt? <laughs> there it is. It's resonating as... Um, 
mental balance, okay? Uh, relying on your inner senses rather than what you see on the outside because you have come to the understanding that everything that you see is not exactly what it seems, okay? And then you have this Knight of Cups energy. The Knight of Cups is falling on judgment here, all right? And sorry, guys. The Knight of Cups, whoops, is um, speaking to, or has been speaking to, the cosmic heart awakening that we've all been experiencing here to, diff to varying degrees, okay? Um, and that varying degree is dependent on wherever you are in your personal journey. Uh, as your heart, it's it's so funny that it, that it it's funny and it's weird but it makes total sense okay as your heart is opening as you are experiencing this cosmic heart awakening yes you do have more and more compassion for others but you also have more and more compassion for yourself and that is what is 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 helping you to balance yourself out mentally here with this two of swords energy. It's being able to say no, I won't do that, or yes, I will do that, or no, I can't do that right now. I need to take some time for myself. This, that, and whatever. It almost feels backwards, but yet it still makes a ton of sense as to why. This is being represented this way. And this is definitely the wisdom that's coming into play here with the high priestess and divine wisdom at the bottom of the deck uh, of the reading. I am curious to see what spirit has to say about the divine wisdom card here. Eight of Wands. And underneath the deck, wow, there's the Ten of Wands again. Releasing the burdens. Understanding. Understanding that you don't need to carry everything. You don't need to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Okay? You don't. And when you release that, when you get that understanding, when you get, uh, when you gain that wisdom, I mean, you move quite quickly. Some of you are even going to be communicating about it, maybe um, teaching, giving seminars, speaking to people, being a mentor of sorts. I am picking up that some of you actually have to have a conversation with some of the people around you about this to a certain extent. I don't feel like you'll be getting too deep into it because it may just go way over their heads, but... Um, yeah, there's a lot of communication about this coming through. Most likely, I re uh, for some of you specifically, this could be starting right after the Mercury retrograde season. But there is divine wisdom to share here, okay? That's beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. Okay. Let's get into some oracle guidance here. We're going to start with the animal spirit guides. And then we're going to close the reading with the crystal mandala deck. All right. Best messages to the spirit. Oracle guidance for today, Monday, March 18th. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. We have butterfly woo, and we have shark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Starting with butterfly. Okay. Butterfly. Undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you, have, if you love your job, perhaps your career. 
Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, butterfly is cheerful and graceful. When out of balance, butterfly is fragile and frustrated. To bring into balance, one must practice a daily routine. And then we have sharp. It's a very interesting com a combination between um, butterfly and shark, but it, somehow it feels fitting. <laughs> shark, directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. The shark is only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it. This card indicates that something big needs to be exposed. It's lurking in the depths and creating tension. Shark energy takes over us when we are hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. It may be tempting to continue pretending nothing is wrong, but when shark energy is at play, we feel its presence encircling us. This is definitely speaking to the Eight of Wands energy that came out for Divine Wisdom. There is a conversation that needs to happen here. There is a truth that needs to be conveyed. When in balance, shark is intriguing, captivating, and mysterious. When out of balance, shark is sneaky and destructive. To bring into balance, honesty. Boop. I didn't. I. You guys, this is this is like one of my favorite shirts because it's so warm and like tight and like thermally, and this big old hole here is slightly disappointing. <laughs> Oh well, looks like I'm going to have to be getting rid of this shirt. It had a good run. <laughs> okay. Now, closing out this reading here. Let's get an oracle card from the Crystal Mandala deck. Here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for today. There it is. Uh, you have card number nine, Archon Barbelo and Picture Jasper. Support. This is, that's actually really wonderful. Um, and it's mirroring the Hermit energy, which is card number nine. That's great okay here we go and actually I don't think this I've ever pulled this card and I've been using this deck for over a year now and this is one of the first times if yeah this, this card has come out so this is beautiful okay we bring you the gift of support our support is available to you on all levels we offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We also offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life when, with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is over, is, I'm sorry, is only ever a prayer away. Well, that's quite beautiful. Alrighty, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great Monday. Um, again, I will be doing happy hour tonight. So look out for that. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to get a question on the list, um, just go ahead and um, send $20 to my PayPal, and I will put you on the list. Um, there is a maximum of 10 slots, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah. So anyway, much love to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Take care.
Bye.